What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new toy we got. It's a Kawasaki SXR1500. And I want to show you guys the modifications we've done to the trailer uh, in addition to that. So here we have it. We got it last week. Some of the modifications we did to make this setup work is we got the winch in the front here. It's a Triton winch. Mount it to the front of the trailer. And we removed the wooden block that was under here that acted as the in the front tie down for the super jet. And we also made it so it is able to be put back in to make it as the uh, super jet setup uh, pretty quickly. All you have to do is just shoot a couple screws in and it'll look just like this side. Uh, worked out really well. This setup works just as good. Uh, there is just enough clearance. Can't really see it well, very well with the camera, but there is enough clearance for movement in the trailer as the trailer moves around. And they fit very well on this Aluma trailer. But as you can see, the Kawasaki swamps the trailer over the Superjet. It just looks humongous compared to how tiny the Superjets are. All right, so under the hood, it's completely stock. You got the big old engine. We went ahead and did the oil change at five hours. So we do have a little bit over five hours on the ski itself. We'll probably only do intake modification to this. We'll keep it pretty stock. Uh, it's already pretty crazy fast, so. tray of the Superjet is much smaller than the tray of the Kawasaki. You can see my hand for scale. One complaint I do have is the on-off switch that you have to activate as well as the kill switch up top there. It is uh, kind of annoying, and it will not start without it. But yeah, if you guys want to see the original trailer setup, click up, click up right here, and you can see the original trailer setup that we had about two weeks ago, set up for the dual super jet combo on the trailer. But that's about it for the setup changes. Let's go take the new ski for a rip.